Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. Thanks for joining me. This is evening prayer for Monday, December 7th. It's the second week in Advent, and the scripture for this service, Psalm 9, and Amos chapter 7, verse 1 through 9. And now please join me in the second verse of Comfort, Comfort, Ye My People. Hark the voice of one that crieth in the desert far and near, calling us to new repentance since the kingdom now is here. Oh, that warning cry obey, now prepare for God away. Let the valleys rise to meet him, and the hills bow down to greet him. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. I praise you, my God, with my whole heart. I will show forth all your marvelous works. Psalm 9, and please recite it with me. I praise you, my God, with my whole heart. I show forth all your marvelous works. I am glad and rejoice in you. I sing praise to your name, O God Most High. When my enemies are turned back, they shall fall and perish at your presence. For you have maintained my right and my cause. You sit in the throne judging right. You have rebuked the heathen. You have destroyed the wicked. You have erased their name forever and ever. The enemy is perpetually ruined and you have destroyed their cities. Their memory perishes with them. But you, God, shall endure forever. You have prepared your throne for judgment, and you shall judge the world in righteousness and minister judgment to the people in equity. You are a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in times of trouble, and they that know your name will put their trust in you, for you, God, have not forsaken them that seek you. Sing praises to God who dwells in Zion. Declare among the people God's doings. God, the avenger of blood, remembers them. God does not forget the cry of the humble. Have mercy on me, O God. Consider my trouble, which I suffer, because of them that hate me. You lift me from the gates of death, that I may show forth all your praise. In the gates of daughter Zion, I rejoice in your salvation. The ungodly have fallen into the pit they made, into the net which they hid, their own foot is taken. You are known by your judgments. The wicked are ensnared in the work of their own hands. The wicked shall be returned to hell, all the nations that forget God. For the needy shall not always be forgotten, nor the expectation of the poor perish forever. Rise, O God, let not the ungodly prevail. Let the heathen be judged in your sight. Put them in fear that the nations may know themselves to be but mortal. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. I praise you, my God, with my whole heart. I show forth all your marvelous works. A reading from the prophet Amos. Chapter 7, beginning at verse 1. This is what the Most High God showed me. He was forming locusts at the time the latter growth began to sprout. It was the latter growth after the king's mowings. And when they had finished eating the grass of the land, I said, O oh, Most High God, forgive, I beg you. How can Jacob stand? He is so small. And the Most High relented concerning this. It shall not be, said the Most High. This is what the Most High God showed me. The Most High God was calling for a shower of fire, and it devoured the great deep 
and was eating up the land. And then I said, O Most High God, cease, I beg you. How can Jacob stand? He is so small. And the Most High relented concerning this. This also shall not be, said the Most High God. And this is what he showed me. The Most High was standing beside a wall built with a plumb line, with a plumb line in his hand. And the Most High said to me, Amos, what do you see? And I said, a plumb line. And then the Lord said, see, I am setting a plumb line in the midst of thy people Israel. I will never again pass by them. The high places of Isaac shall be made desolate and the sanctuaries of Israel shall be laid waste, and I will rise against the house of Jeroboam with the sword. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions, and please respond, hear us, tender God. For those who are strangers and travelers, that we may welcome them as Christ, and for all who are alone, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For the sick, especially Paul and Bill. For the aged and the infirm, especially Marjorie and Brother Ronald Francis. That they may be protected and find courage and hope in your mercy, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For prisoners and captives, especially Robert, for the persecuted and for refugees, that they may be judged in righteousness and find freedom in your truth, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For all who died, especially, especially Brother Richard Bradley, Margaret, Brother John William David, and Bill. That together with St. Ambrose and all your saints, they may have a place in your eternal kingdom, we pray. Hear us, tender God. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. We pray. Hear us, tender God. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. And let us pray. Let us pray for peace among the nations on this anniversary of the attack on Pearl Harbor. Almighty God, Heavenly Father, guide the nations of this world into the ways of justice and truth, and establish among them that peace which is the fruit of righteousness, that they may become the kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen.